Multi-mobile phone ringtones are a multi-million pound industry. Children in particular seem attracted to them, sometimes apparently unaware of how much they cost. Here's a commercial for one of the most popular, Sweetie the Chick. <laughs> Get Sweetie the Chick on your mobile now. Text Sweet 11 for the animated screensaver, Sweet 12 for the real sound, or Sweet 13 for the video ringtone. Mm, very attractive too, but what's the true cost of these products and how easy is it to stop more and more ringtones being delivered to your phone once you've placed an order? Well, Alicia Andrews here and her dad Rob found out the hard way. We'll be talking to them and a representative of one of the uh, commercial organisations uh, in the frame on this one uh, in just a tick. Rob, first and foremost, explain what happened. You thought you spent, or she thought she spent £1.50 and it turned out to be 70 quid. How come? Exactly. Um, Alicia, uh, she logged onto a website and uh, it appears she unknowingly subscribed to her ringtone and uh, with the type of phone we've got, which is a contract phone, we couldn't understand why the credits were being uh, used so quickly and uh, it became apparent that uh, Alicia had subscribed to one of these ringtone websites. But it took you quite a long time to suss it that, didn't it? It took a good five or six months, yes. For you to work out what yeah. had happened. Yeah. Had you no idea, Alicia, when you, when, you, when, you, when you downloaded this, what you were getting? No. You didn't? I didn't know. I don't think that I even downloaded what I did, so somebody else could have subscribed with my phone number. Oh, I see. You don't think you even did it in the first place? No. You anything at all, but just so happened to be on your mm. phone. And it, it became a apparent to you that it was not just a one-off payment, it's a, it's no. a subscription I think to an ongoing product. It that's was. right. What highlighted it was uh, Alyssa asked me to top her phone up uh, one evening uh, while she was in bed uh, and I put £10 worth of credits on. The next morning when Alyssa got up and checked her credits, uh, it was down already to £6.80 without well, even using the phone. Robert so. Swift alongside you represents a Jamster, which is one of the organisations we're talking about here, and your organisation stands accused of conning children. What do you say? Well, essentially, we provide mobile entertainment for a wide audience, and, you know, some appeal does go to under-16s, but we don't act to actively target under-16s. But, I mean, the, that, the sort of commercial we just saw there isn't appealing to adults. Come on, Robert, that's appealing to, to kids, and the sort of advertisements that are in this magazine, this isn't one of yours, I should stress, but it's, it's typical of the genre. These aren't appealing to adults. These are, this is a kid's magazine. Well, no, I disagree with that. I mean, basically... Well, they can't disagree with that. That's a kid's magazine. <laughs> Oh yeah, well we don't have a commercial. I'm not, I'm not going to be swayed by a commercial with a duck on it, for heaven's sake. I mean, you know, kids I are. I mean, Sweet of the Chick is the ultimate irony. It's the sort of ringtone that you download to annoy your mates at work. When you're on the train, it's the sort of ringtone that you get. You hear that, you look around, who's that? It's the, it's the ringtone that I've got on my mobile phone at the moment. But do you concede, and you're not the only operations, I must make this plain, do you not concede that uh, these commercials do not make it as plain as they should, that this is a, a subscription and not a one-off fee, that you're, you're actually getting yourself in for a lot of payments rather than just one? Well, I can only really speak for our company on this, but essentially we work very closely with the Advertising Standards Authority, the BACC, to ensure that we comply with all regulations in terms of clarity. I mean, the advert you see there, that has been passed by the BACC, who have to ensure that it, it's clear enough, yeah. all the writing on the bottom is at the right speed. Yeah. And that it did say on there, on the writing at the bottom, that you could cancel this, didn't it? And you it did make it plain. It, yes. But, uh, but your argument is that kids don't. The, the, look problem, it up. the problem, I think, is that because we've not got an itemised bill, is yeah. that unless you police the phone really carefully of, of what yeah. Alyssa is making, what call she's making, yeah. it's going to be difficult to know uh, exactly where the money's going. That is a problem. And I also have to put, <coughs> I mean, because you, you, you can't tell from a text message how old Alyssa yeah, or anybody exactly. else is. And that is an inherent problem of, of the system, isn't it? And also, uh, it, he makes a very good point. There's no bill. So he, he as the parent and guardian, or guardian, can't possibly assess until it's too late how much it's costing. Yeah, I think this is actually a problem that transcends the mobile entertainment industry and goes into sort of mobile tele telecommunications industry itself because if you're under 16 you shouldn't actually own a mobile phone it's in your parents name mm. so even if we could see from a text message how old someone was it would come in the parents name so it would the parents do have a responsibility to sit down with the children and say this mobile phone this is actually what it can do this is the functionality I assume of it. the parents know Robert he didn't know for six months he couldn't work it no. out he's a bright intelligent human being he had no idea what was happening well, I mean, if I, if I could just let's say, after this has happened, I've actually been onto a website, and if I had your phone number, John, I could probably register your phone and get you signed up for this. Yeah. If you get a text message back and you reply to it, you'd be in, mm. and that would be costing you money. In a, in a word, what do you want done? 
Um, I think there should be more transparency. I certainly think that uh, the initial sign-on should be a lot tighter. Yeah. And if that. Yeah, I mean, we're all for transparency in the industry. We're happy to work together with parents to ensure that in the future the mobile entertainment industry is as transparent and as uh, successful as it can be. Okay, we hope so, because uh, uh, even the chairman of a parliamentary select committee described the situation, and again, he's talking generally not just about your organisation, as a scandal. Let's hope it doesn't remain so. If you're still unsure about uh, your mobile phone rights, uh, you can find out uh, more advice on our website. You know, it is gm.tv. Time is 24, almost 25 minutes past six. Time for a break.